Good evening. Welcome to our September town board meeting. And uh, this is the meeting every year that we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. It's a very special meeting because we have the opportunity tonight especially to honor five individuals of Hispanic heritage who have improved the quality of life of their fellow neighbors and of those living in the communities around them. Um, I would like to begin by uh, having JR lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Are you walking out? No? If you would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Careful. Our first honoree this evening is Geraldo Vega, and I would like to ask Councilman John Cochran, who nominated Mr. Vega to the podium to present the first award. Thank you, brother. Geraldo, come on, join me. In addition to serving as Second Lieutenant Engine Company 4 with the Brentwood Fire Department, he oversees the training of the volunteers and serves as a source of calm leadership in times of crisis. Geraldo Vega has de devoted over a decade of advocacy to the life-saving virtues of becoming an organ, organ, uh, organ donor. Geraldo's advocacy serves as a tribute to his son, Anthony, who tragically passed in 2009 at the age of 11. During the difficult times, he and his family chose to donate his son's organs to pass a gift to life to uh, children in need. In the years following, Geraldo has remained committed to the cause, partnering with Telemundo and Channel 7 as a gift of life ambassador, educating all in the virtues of organ and tissue donation. His advocacy has saved many lives of many in the beautiful tribute and legacy to his son, Anthony Vega. Please join me in recognizing Second Lieutenant of the Vega. Would you like to say something? Can you say something? Councilman Cochran tried to put him on his spot. Thank you so much. Our next honoree is Alexandra Lopez, and I'd like to ask Councilwoman Mary Kate Mullen to make that presentation. Alexandra Lopez is a first-generation graduate of high school, college, and graduate school, as well as a veteran of the United States Army. After obtaining his law degree, Alex shifted gears and became a professor of occupational therapy, focusing his attention advocating for the traditionally underrepresented people in the community. In 2007, in collaboration with Youth Enrichment Services, Alex developed uh, the PAR-4 program, providing life skills to our community's youth through golf. Ever de dedicated to the service of others, Alex also provides pro bono occupational therapy and assists local nonprofits modifying programs to better serve patients. In 2013, Alex also founded Inclusive Sports and Fitness Incorporated to provide children with disabilities specialized in professional training and a chance to recapture childhood through the joys of mainstream sports and recreational activities. Today, he continues to dedicate 20 to 30 hours a week to volunteerism and the betterment of our community. Please join me in recognizing Alexander Lopez. Yeah, yeah. 
And just a, just a personal note, um, he has done so much in our community, in um, where, where I live, Bayport, Saville, that whole area. My, my daughter, Sarah, actually participated um, in the summer program, mentoring some of the children at Bayport High School, and it was just an incredible experience. So Alex, thank you so much. Thank you. Our next honoree is a name familiar to so many of us here in the town of Islip, and that's Belinda Alvarez Groneman. And I'd like to ask Councilman Jim O'Connor to please come make that special presentation. Jim? Former Suffolk County Police Detective and current Congressional Aid and Law Enforcement Coordinator to Congressman Lee Zeldin, Belinda Alvarez Gronman is an administrator, executive, and dedicated civic-minded community leader. For over 25 years, she has served on the board for the nonprofit Pronto of Long Island and on the Town of Islip Youth Board. She is the president of the Board of Directors Eastern Region for the American Cancer Society trustee for Suffolk County Community College and the college's foundation, board member for Adelante of Suffolk County, as well as an active member of Islip Food for Hope. These are just a few of the numerous organizations she serves, improving the quality of life for our residents. A highly decorated police officer and highly trained investigator, Belinda has also served as president of the Suffolk County Police Department Hispanic Society, as well as vice president of the Suffolk County Women's Police Association. Throughout her career, she has worked closely with constituents on casework issues involving foreign affairs, law enforcement issues, immigration, U.S. postal issues, and women's issues. Her work has had an immeasurable positive impact on this community and communities beyond. Please join me in recognizing Belinda Alvarez Gronman. It was an incredible resume. I heard you, Councilman. <laughs> Our next honoree um, is Joshua Chan. And unfortunately, Councilman Orhe Guadron is not able to be with us this morning. This was his nominee. Uh, he's not feeling well. We just got a call a little while ago. Uh, but I think it only fitting to recognize uh, Joshua and his efforts working with the Councilman. And, um, so we hope that uh, he is not able to be here. I think he's away at school up in Albany. So uh, good luck and congratulations to Joshua. And we hope the councilman feels better. Uh, thank you. Our final honoree uh, was my nominee, who also is away at school. He's at NYU. And it's Alberto Melgar. And at the young age of 19, Alberto has already established himself as a committed, caring, Get out of here. Oh, Alberto, come on up. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you that I, earlier I was at uh, Brentwood High School. They opened up the Business uh, Resource Center in room 209. Yes, yes. And I was talking to the principal. And I told him that you were one of our honorees tonight. I said, but I heard that he's not going to make it. He's at NYU. He said, if I know Alberto, he'll find a way to get there. So he knows you. And, and really 
spoke so highly of you and working with you. So let me finish telling everybody how wonderful you are. So Alberto was born in Bayshore in 2003 and then sent to live with his father in El Salvador just four years later. And at the age of 10, he returned to the United States and attended Brentwood High School, where he worked to overcome the challenges of language barriers and economic setbacks, and work he did. Alberto studied his way up to honor classes, then to AP classes, and recently graduated from Brentwood High School as sixth in the class. And Brentwood High School has a very large graduating class <laughs> with a full ride to NYU. That is amazing. Congratulations. And studying wasn't the only thing he excelled at as a student. Through initiatives in high school, Alberto organized a supply drive to assist, assist those impacted by the invasion of the Ukraine. He fundraised for over $3,000 for the Brentwood Science Olympiads to ensure the program was not defunded due to budget cuts brought on by the pandemic. He donated over 1,500 blankets with positive messages attached to the Suffolk County Office of Social Services to be distributed to local shelters as part of the Blankets of Hope initiative. Can you imagine how special that is for someone who's in a shelter and they get the blanket and then read a, an inspiring message? That's beautiful. He also secured over 1,100 signatures from community members that he brought to the town, to me, in support of building the Roberto Clemente Skate Park. And that was when I first met Alberto and really was taken with him. Really great kid. Most impressively, while dedicating much of his time to the community, he has maintained a part-time job, excelled in his studies, and was involved with several school clubs at the high school. Presently in his freshman year at NYU, he's majoring in physics and mechanical engineering. We can't wait to see what this remarkable young man does next. So join me in recognizing and congratulating Alberto Melgar. And I'd like to ask, um, I see that Hassan Ahmed is here from the Brentwood Board of Education. Please, Hassan, come up and join us. So we uh, offer our congratulations to the, all the honorees of this year's Hispanic Heritage Awards and a sincere thank you to all you all have done for our community. So thank you very, very much. Um, so again, I welcome everyone to our September town board meeting. Uh, September, traditionally a time of change. The sun sets a little earlier, the evenings grow a bit colder. Soon our beautiful green spaces will turn yellow to orange to red as summer wanes and golden autumn takes the stage. For our youth returning from summer break, September is a time of new classes, classmates, and curriculums. Many others will have already embarked on the next chapter in their scholarly careers, studying away at a new college or university, maybe at NYU. But amongst this change, there stands a singular moment unchanged by the passage of time. Though 21 years have gone by, there is a moment in our nation's history and a pledge that remains forever firm in our hearts, the pledge that we will remember, the vow that we will never forget. This past Sunday, the town of Islip joined ceremonies across this great nation with our annual 9-11 memorial ceremony, paying tribute to the thousands of souls who perished during September 11th. Joined by local faith, veteran, police department, fire department officials, local first responders, the families of those lost, and residents of our community, the town board and I recognized and remembered each of the 90 brave men and women from our town who were killed during the attacks. I would like to ask for all to please stand and join me for a moment of silence in the memory of their lives and the legacies they left behind.
Thank you. We will remain unwavering in our commitment to never forget. On September 1st, we kicked off Isle Goes Purple. Since 2019, the town has partnered with Youth Enrichment Services, YES, and local hospital and health leaders for the Isle Goes Purple month-long mental health and substance use abuse disorder recovery and awareness campaign. We were joined by elected officials on all levels of government from the federal down to local levels. We held a ceremony on the front steps of town hall to stand firm in our commitment to promote recovery and support for all those who struggle with mental health issues and addiction. Thanks to the care and support of Islip community members, business owners, and community partners, the IGP movement has grown throughout Suffolk County and even into Nassau. Earlier this month, Bayport had an evening program for international overdose awareness and a purple tree lighting at the Bayport Blue Point Library that brought the community together. Store windows throughout West Islip are being painted by high school students and members of the community with purple designs and stores are sporting purple light bulbs and uh, purple bows, flags throughout the town. We're thrilled to be joined in this effort by the towns of Brookhaven, Babylon, Huntington, and the village of Massapequa Park, and we look forward to seeing this initiative continue to expand into additional communities. There's hardly a person among us whose family or friends have not felt the tragic repercussions of substance abuse. Enhanced efforts have saved countless lives, but we still lose a staggering 300 Americans each day to overdose at a rate of 12 people every hour. There's still so much work to do to spread the message that help is available for those who may need it. For more information, including treatment resources, I encourage you to visit islipgoespurple.com. Lastly, we'd like to provide a quick update on the town of Islip state-of-the-art skateboard park at Roberto Clemente. Alberto, are you listening? Uh, as of today, the skate park is nearly 50% complete, moving very quickly, barring any supply chain issues. So that's, that's the little caveat there. Uh, residents have already expressed their enthusiasm and growing excitement following images of the park's construction seen on our website and social media. So go to our website and you can follow and have a look for yourself at islipny.gov. So thank you to everyone, to all our returning youth, on behalf of the entire town board, we wish you a very happy, safe, and successful school year, and drive safely out there. Watch out for those school buses and the kids. Thank you so much. If you're noticing a brief hiatus here, uh, we're actually waiting for the court reporter, who was supposed to be here at 5.30 promptly. So we're just checking on that.
Okay, we will begin by uh, an announcement by the town clerk. Well, does this announcement have to be on there? Okay. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, the town clerk has an announcement regarding the 2023 tentative budget. Madam Clerk. Um, thank you. Good evening, Madam Supervisor and Council Members. The tentative budget for 2023 has been filed in the Office of the Town Clerk as provided in New York State Town Law, Section 106, Subdivision 2. I'm subsequently presenting to you the duly filed tentative budget in written form um, at this scheduled public meeting to this board pursuant to New York State Section 106, Subdivision 3. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we will now move to the scheduled public hearings for the board's consideration. I'd ask the town clerk to please read the hearing notice. Today's only hearing has to do with considering the amend amending the 2022 contract with Community Ambulance Company, Inc. for emergency ambulance services. Okay, we have that before us. Are there any questions from the board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Move the motion to close the public hearing and uh, that be amended. Second. We have a motion, Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. We will now go on to the regular business to come before the town board. First item on the agenda is the meeting of the Town of Isaac Industrial Development Agency. I'll call for a motion for the meeting to convene. Motion, motion by Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed. The meeting is convened. A quorum being present, Mr. Walzer. Thank you, <coughs> Madam Chair and members of the agency board. John Walzer, Executive Director, 40 Nassau Avenue, Islip, New York. I have several items for your consideration today. Uh, first being the approval of the minutes of our last board meeting on August 9th of this year. We have a motion, we have a second. second. Motion and a second, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, minutes are approved. Thank you, the next item for your consideration is an inducement resolution between the agency and Vets Holbrook LLC on the northeast corner of Vets Highway and Grundy Avenue in Holbrook. Uh, this project involves the construction of a 108,000 square foot industrial warehouse on 8.2 acres of vacant land. It represents a $24 million capital investment and the creation of 30 new jobs. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. Aye. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, approved. Okay, the next item for your consideration is an authorizing, uh, is an authorizing resolution for a project induced at July's board meeting. Uh, this project is, involves the expansion of Asian cuisine manufacturer um, Water Lilies Foods at 1724 Fifth Avenue in Bayshore. Any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Thank you. The next item for your consideration is a resolution consenting to the sublease at the Allstate Insurance Facility at 898 that's Highway Hop Hog to PKF O'Connor Davies. Any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. Aye. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Okay, the next item for your consideration is also a resolution consenting to a sublease. Uh, this one is at 555 North Research Place, Central Islip to Resion Incorporated. Questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, approved. Um, the next item for your consideration is an amended authorizing resolution for V1 ISP2 LLC uh, for an increase in the mortgage amount. Motion. Motion. 
Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor, opposed, approved. And the last item for your consideration is also an amended authorizing resolution for V1 ISP 3 LLC uh, for an increase in the mortgage amount. Okay, motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor, opposed. It is approved. No other business. Did you, did you see number seven? Yes. Number seven was a VI ISP2, the first one. On seven was ISP3. Three, rather. No, no was eight was ISP three. Two. Seven was two. Eight was three. It's on the agenda. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So motion that adjourned. seven and right motion by Councilman O'Connor to adjourn. Second, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor opposed. The uh, IDA is adjourned. Next, we move to item two: meeting with the Town of Ice Resource Recovery Agency. Uh, Marty Ballou. We have a motion to convene by Councilman O'Connor. Second. second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor opposed. We are convened. Quorum being present. You may begin. Madam Chair, members of the agency board, Martin Ballou. 401 Main Street, I sit in New York. I have several, res several items to discuss tonight. First one being the approval of the minutes for the July 12th, uh, 2022 agency board meeting. Motion. Motion. By Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor, opposed, the minutes are approved. Next item is a resolution authorizing the president to enter into a contract extension with Deverka and Bartolucci Engineers and their architect, DC, to provide professional and technical services for monitoring, sampling, and reporting of, of greenhouse gas, landfill gas, and the volatile or organic compounds at the Blydenburg Road and Lincoln Avenue landfill. Are there any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. By Council Mullen, all those in favor, Aye. opposed, approved. Next item is a resolution authorizing an amendment to an existing contract with DeVerker and Bartolucci Engineers and Architects DC to provide post-closure groundwater sampling. Post-closure groundwater sampling. Sampling and, and reporting at the Blydenburg Road landfill to include emerging contaminants in conjunction with the standard revised New York State DEC Part 363 baseline parameter sampling events. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Second. Opposed, approved. The last item is a resolution authorizing an extension and amendment to an existing contract with Cash and Associates PC to provide professional engineering services related to groundwater leachate and emerging contaminants. Monitoring, sampling, and reporting of, at the Blydenburg Road landfill, Queensville, phase one and two. Thank you, Marty. Are there any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Is there any other business? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor, opposed. The uh, Resource Recovery Agency is adjourned. I'm sorry, it, you're recording it too, right? Yeah, okay. You have it all, it's right there in front of you. Okay, we're on resolution three. Authorizi uh, authorization with the supervisor to enter into a contract extension with Deverker and Bartolucci Engineers and Architects PC to provide professional and technical services for monitoring, sampling, and reporting of landfill gas at the Sonia Road <laughs> landfill. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, approved. Item four, town board approval to designate Bobcat of New York as the sole source supplier for parts and service required to maintain operation of Bobcat equipment utilized at DEC sites. Any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed, approved. 
Item five, authorization for supervisor enter into a license agreement for one parcel of town-owned Bay Bartom land for the purpose of shellfish uh, cultivation in the Great South Bay. Questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion, motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Second. Mullen, all those in favor? Aye. We have three in favor, one recusal. Motion is approved. Item six, authorization for town clerk to advertise for a public hearing to enact a local law amending Chapter 68, zoning of the Town of Islip Code. I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, it is approved. Item seven, authorization to clean up and secure certain properties in the Town of Islip. Taryn, if you would go through this with us, please. Good evening, Madam Supervisor, and members of the Town Board of Town Clerk. Taryn Jewell, Assistant Town Attorney, 655 Main Street. Number one, to clean up the premises located at 0 South Clinton Avenue, Bayshore. On this vacant property, there now exists overgrown vegetation and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second? By Councilwoman uh, Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Number two, to clean up the premises located at 0 South Clinton Avenue, Bayshore. On this vacant property, there now exists overgrown vegetation and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Uh, Karen, Karen, it's the same address as number one, reason being a different tax box. Exactly. Any other questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Number three has been withdrawn as it is now in compliance. Number four, to board up the accessory structure located at 10 Miller Avenue, Central Islip. On this vacant and unsecured property, there now exists an unsecured shed, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Are there any questions? Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor, Aye. opposed, approved. Number five has been withdrawn. Number six has been withdrawn. Number seven has been withdrawn. Number eight has been withdrawn since we now have new owner information. Number nine has also been withdrawn. Number 10, to board up the pool located at 99 Debbie Lee Lane, Bohemia. On this vacant and unsecured property, there now exists an unsecured in-ground pool, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? I have a question. Taryn, um, why is this only the pool? So the actual structure is secured as well as it being maintained. We have been in contact with a soon-to-be owner, but he doesn't quite own it yet, so he's ordering a new pool cover. So someone is working towards it, but it's not done yet, so that's why we have to pass it. It's okay. I have a question as well. Other than the photos depicting the uh, pool being only maybe a quarter of the way covered, and, and basically, like you say, a hazard, if somebody went in there, they'd fall into it and hurt themselves. Is the rest of the yard secured as our, as our ordinance would require it to be as far as the in-ground pool? There is. There's a six-foot vinyl fence around. I don't know if there's any alarms on it, but there is a fence surrounding it. Any other questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Number 11, to board and clean up the premises located at 100 West 6th Street, Ronkonkoma. On this vacant and unsecured property, there now exists unsecured windows and doors, an unsecured shed, overgrown vegetation, and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. Second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Number 12, to clean up the premises located at 164 Fifth Avenue, Bayshore. On this vacant property, there now exists high grass, overgrown vegetation, an unregistered vehicle, and litter and debris which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed, approved. 
Number 13, to clean up the premises located at 170 West Bayberry Road, Islip. On this vacant property, there now exists high grass, an unregistered trailer, and overgrown vegetation, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion by Councilwoman uh, Mullen, second. Se second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Number 14 has been withdrawn. Number 15, to clean up the premises located at 190 Audwin Drive, Islip Terrace. On this vacant property, there now exists overgrown vegetation, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Number 16 has been withdrawn. Number 17 has been withdrawn. Number 18, to clean up the premises located at 250 Springdale Drive, Ronkonkoma. On this vacant property, there now exists high grass, overgrown vegetation, and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with the property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second. By Councilman uh, Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Number 19 has been withdrawn. Number 20, to board and clean up the premises located at 492 Drone Street, Ronkonkoma. On this vacant and unsecure property, there now exists unsecured windows and doors, an unsecure shed, an unregistered vehicle, overgrown vegetation, and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Number 21, to clean up the premises, located at 579 Veterans Memorial Highway, Hop Hog. On this vacant property, there now exists overgrown vegetation, unregistered vehicles, and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Motion by Councilman uh, O'Connor, second. By Council Mullen, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, approved. Number 22, to board and clean up the premises located at 763 Montauk Highway, West Side Slip. Mm -hmm. This and unsecured property, there now exists unsecured windows and doors, high grass, overgrown vegetation, and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Number 23, to clean up the premises located at 957 Belmore Avenue, Central Islip. On this vacant property, there now exists high grass, overgrown vegetation, and litter and debris, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor, opposed, approved. And the last one, number 24, to clean up the premises located at 1225 Udall Road, Bayshore. On this vacant property, there now exists an unregistered vehicle, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in this premise. Any questions? Just a quick question, Karen. So the vehicle depicted obviously has New York State issued license plates on it, but the registration is expired? Yes. Any other questions? Is there a motion? Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Taryn. Quite an aggressive agenda this evening. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, item eight, are the bid awards? Are there any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion, motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item nine of the option year resolutions. Are there any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Second. Opposed, approved. Item 10, appropriation transfers. Again, on it, are there any questions? No. Motion by Councilman uh, Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 11, town board approval to increase the annual OSAP contribution for the ambulance corporation volunteers. Are there any questions? Hearing none, motion by Councilman O'Connor, 
Second by Councilwoman Mullen. All those in favor? Aye. Three in favor, one recusal. Motion is approved. Item 12, Town Board approval to symbolically name the intersection of Montauk Highway and South Bay Avenue in Islip as firefighter Jesse Gerhard Way in honor of a local hometown hero. Are there any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second, Second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor, opposed, it is approved. Item 11, acceptance of an easement in favor of the town of Islip through and under portions of 163 Amityville Street and Islip Terrace for drainage purposes. Are there any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 14, acceptance of an easement for property located at 4 and 8 Roslyn Street, Islip Terrace for drainage purposes. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran, second, second. by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 16, authorization with supervisor to enter into a one-year contract renewal with Lyro Engineers for site plan review for commercial development. I'm sorry, what? 15. All right, uh, can we finish 16? Okay. <laughs> uh, for a slight site plan review for commercial development within the town of Islip. Any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman O'Connor. Second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. And item 15, acceptance of an easement for property located at zero uh, Vitsanas Court. Bohemia for drainage purposes. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second, Second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. We will move then to item 17, authorization for supervisor to enter into one-year contract extension with SIPCO Boarding Company, Inc. for contract DPD 2-21, board up and secure various properties townwide. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second, Second. by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 18, authorization with supervisor to enter into one-year contract with Benson Contracting, Inc. for contract DPD-520, maintain and service wells and pumps at town pools, golf courses, and town facilities. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion, motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Uh, item 19, acceptance of a quick claim deed from Long Island Partnership Housing Development Fund uh, Company, Inc. for a walkway between subdivision Brookside Mews, 3rd Avenue and East 3rd Avenue in Bayshore. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second. Second. By Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Item 20, authorization for supervisor to execute any and all documents to effectuate the assumption of an existing note and mortgage held by the town in connection with the sale of 17 Cortland Place, Bayshore. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion, motion by Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 21, authorization of the supervisor to execute the option to renew contract with Intellitech Security Services for the monitoring, maintenance, and installation of alarms. Any questions? Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 22, authorization for supervisor to execute the option to renew the professional services agreement with ASI Flex covering the benefit option year through December 31st, 2023. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Uh, motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Uh, item 23. Uh, amendment to the Town of Islip 2022 capital uh, budget. I would ask uh, our controller to come forward on this. Uh, this is for the project at Byron Lake uh, Park, uh, a facility that was built over 50 years ago and has probably had zero attention since. Uh, this was a project that has been on the schedule for many, many years, unfortunately had to be put uh, in abeyance, and we want to thank the residents of the town for their patience in uh, waiting for this project to finally be uh, started. But we had the situation at Clemente, uh, the cleanup that had to be effectuated, the remediation, then the pool that had been closed for so many years. Uh, when we went to reopen it, not only was it a fix, it was a total redo of the pool. 
um, and everything else that happened since that. Finally, is we're on the finishing touches of that park, as we heard earlier about the skateboard park, but now it's time to move to the next project, and that is Byron Lake. Um, we are probably in a, a very good position, and with everything that's happening, with uh, interest rates and everything, it probably is best for us to probably have done this a year or two ago, but we're still in a good position given our AAA bond rating. Uh, Joe, do you have anything that uh, you want to add to that? No. <laughs> Joseph Ludwig, controller for the town of Isop, 401 Main Street. Um, with all due honesty, uh, Madam Supervisor, you kind of laid it out. Um, you know, I can make the jokes as I normally do. The pool's a little bit older than I am, and while I look like a model of, of perfect fitness, I am falling apart on the inside. <laughs> the pool is very much the same way, and what people won't normally see is within the operating budget, the Commissioner of Parks and Recreation spends between thirty to $50,000 a year in just blast patching holes within the tub. That's what everybody swims in. So your, your notation that it has been neglected and kind of ignored since it was constructed is pretty accurate. We've done nothing but patchwork to it, and it's time long overdue to get it done. It would have been wonderful to have done this two years ago, but that was the COVID year. Nothing was going to happen then. Interest rates are still working with us, not as attractive as they were a couple of years ago, but still better than where they were just prior to it. Mm -hmm. We're still in that wheelhouse where it makes sense to do the project now. Thank you. Uh, one other thing I just wanted to add, uh, reading the engineer's report, and this is something that Councilman O'Connor is going to be very sensitive to as the chair of our Disability Advisory Board uh, and the councilman for that particular council district, uh, the ADA compliance isn't there. There are so many uh, areas where it is lacking, and that probably is the first order of business in making it be ADA compliant. And quite frankly, we're very lucky that we have not been cited so yeah, and again I don't mean to cut you off councilman but that's always you know the problems we face when things are built 50 years ago before ADA became the norm mm -hmm. now we have to kind of get caught up and make things right right so Joe thank you and thank you to our commissioner of parks and recreations and, and uh, uh, what is it cultural, cultural affairs, affairs of course um, for and his team for bringing us to this point um, the the pool at Roberto Clemente is second to none it does my heart good, and I know my fellow members good, when we go there for our annual splash party and we see the community there enjoying that facility. And I'm really looking forward to the same thing and the same sort of facility in Oakdale. The residents deserve it. This is exactly what we should be doing as town board members, is giving the, the, the benefit of the tax dollar back to the community. I'm really excited to support it, and I thank you and everybody else who has gotten us to this point. Yeah, well said, and I just want to add, I'm again, don't mean to cut off anybody, but I took a, a uh, a site visit a couple weeks ago, and I'll admit I've never really been to Byron Lake. So when you walk in, and kind of to the point, water's perfect color. Everything looks beautiful, but when you look behind that facade, and again, I see it because I pay the bills, you realize how much work is actually been going in to keep mm -hmm. it looking that good. So yes, it is long overdue, and I think it's going to be a beautiful complex once it's all completed. Thank you. Thank you for all your work on this and, you, and your team. It's not easy getting all these documents together. We really do appreciate it. Um, we have, on the amendment, we don't need a roll call vote on the amendment, uh, so I have a motion. Motion, motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Cochran. Uh, on the amendment to 2022 Town of Capital Budget, uh, all those in favor, Aye. opposed, it is approved. Um, and then on the bond resolution, we will need a roll call vote. I will make, well, I'll make the motion on uh, the bond resolution for the amendment to 2022 Town of Isop Capital Budget. Uh, just need that in front of me, and I think that's all I need to put on the record. For the Byron Lake project. This resolution doesn't speak to one yes, okay, we're covered. So we'll have uh, a roll call on the bond reso. Yes. Councilman O'Connor. Yes. Council, Councilwoman Mullen. Yes. And Councilman Cochran. Yes. Less than pass it passes to four zero. Councilman Bartell and Mullen. Thank you very much. And again, to Tom and, and his team and Joe and your team, we really appreciate all of the effort. Thank you.
Okay, that will take us to item 25, authorization for supervisor to enter into a contract with WHM Plumbing and Heating Contractors, Inc. Uh, for DPW 3-2022 Byron Lake Pool Reconstruction Plumbing. Motion, Motion. by Councilman Cochran, second. Right. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 26, authorization for supervisor to enter into a contract with Intricate Tech Solutions Limited for DPD, DPW 3-2022H, Byron Lake Pool Reconstruction, and this is for the HVAC, mechanical. Um, motion? Motion by Councilman Mullins, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 27, authorization for the supervisor to enter into contract with Stalco Construction, Inc. for contract DPW 3-2022G, Byron Lake Pool Reconstruction, and this is the general construction. Any questions? Motion? Second. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 28, authorization for supervisor to enter into a contract with Banna Electric Corp for DPW 3-2022E, Byron Lake Pool Reconstruction Electrical. Any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Council Mullen, second. second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Second. Opposed, approved. Item 29, authorization for supervisor to accept funds from pse and to compensate the Department of Public Works for the milling and overlay work required for sections of Mississippi Drive and Ridgeway Boulevard, Bayshore, due to work associated with the installation of underground electric. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman uh, O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Okay, item 30, authorization for supervisor to accept funds from National Grid to compensate the Department of Public Works for the milling and overlay work required for Iroquois Drive and Montauk Drive, Bayshore, due to work associated with the Brightwaters Gas Replacement Project. Any questions? Motion? Second. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Item 31. Acceptance of funds from Suffolk County Water Authority to compensate the Department of Public Works for the milling and overlay work required for Sudam Lane, Sudam Lane, Bayport. Any questions? Motion? Motion, Motion by Councilman uh, Mullen, second. second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 32, authorization for supervisor to execute a second amendment to the professional services agreement with Nelson and Pope for design services for a skateboard park at Roberto Clemente Park. Um, any questions? Motion? Motion. By Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 33, authorization for supervisor to execute an amendment to the professional service agreement with Nelson and Pope to include additional construction oversight and inspection services in connection with the Roberto Clemente Spray Park. Any questions? Motion by Councilman uh, O'Connor, second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Right. Opposed, approved. 34, town board approval of the rates for the rental equipment for machinery or equipment for town uh, for snow and ice re removal for the 2022-2023 session. A motion that hopefully we don't use it. Uh, motion by Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 35, authorization for the supervisor to execute the fourth option year to the contract with Oxford Airport Technical Services for repair and maintenance on the baggage delivery system at Long Island MacArthur Airport. Any questions? Motion? Second. Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. Second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Item 36, authorization for the supervisor to execute the second option year to the contract with ComNet Software as the sole supplier of hardware and software applications, support services related to the multi-user flight information display system and digital paging systems at Long Island MacArthur Airport. Questions, hearing none, motion. motion. By Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 37, authorization for the supervisor to execute a professional services agreement with CNS companies for construction administration and construction inspection services within the main terminal building at Long Island MacArthur Airport. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. 
Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Item 38, authorization for supervisor to award an agreement for plumbing services to WHM Plumbing and Heating Contractors, Inc. in connection with the main terminal MEP upgrades at Long Island MacArthur Airport. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed. It is approved. Item 13, authorization with supervisor to execute any and all documents required to apply for and accept grant funding from the Dormitory Authority of the State of New York for the renovations of the Brentwood Recreation Center was uh, proposed by Count, uh, Assemblyman Ramos and uh, it is going to be incredible what uh, improvements have been already done and will be completed at the Brentwood Recreation Center. Uh, do I have a motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed. Opposed, it is approved. Authorization for the town clerk to advertise for public hearing to consider enacting local law. Um, is there a number for that? Okay, so it's an local law of 2022 amending local law 3, 1998, chapter 48G of the Town of Islip Code, entitled Taxation Exemption for Persons with Disabilities. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. motion. Motion by Councilman uh, O'Connor, second. By Council Mullen, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Authorization with the town clerk to advertise for a public hearing to consider enacting local law of 2022 amending local law 1025-1966 chapter 48 of the town of Islip code entitled taxation partial exemption for senior citizens um you know it's interesting i received a phone call on this uh a senior very anxious to make sure this passes so that she knows how she can budget because she needs a new refrigerator so she'll be very happy uh when we can tell her this is moving along uh motion 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 by Councilman Cochran, second. second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Item 42, authorization for the town clerk to advertise for a public hearing to consider enacting the local law of 2022, amending local law 1025-1966, chapter 48 of the Islip Town Code, entitled Taxation, Partial Exemption for Senior Citizens Who Have an Ownership in a Co-op. Any questions? Motion. Motion by uh, Council Mullen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Authorization town clerk to advertise for public hearing to consider the reapportionment of the town of Islip Council Districts. Um, I would just, at this juncture, want to thank the members of the uh, reapportionment committee who convened, I believe, eight public hearings, one in each of the council districts with a second go round. Uh, and worked really diligently with consultants, with the map drawers, with everybody involved, and uh, they really did a very fine job, so we thank them for their efforts. Nine total meetings, yeah. Uh, all volunteers, yeah. I might add, yeah. Okay, um, I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Motion and second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed, it is approved. Authorization with the supervisor to enter into short-term lease with Yamaha Finance Corporation USA for an interim fleet of 170 DR 2A golf carts. Any questions? Motion, Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second, second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 45, authorization for supervisor to execute a term sheet for extension of the lease agreement for the rinks. Any questions? Uh, just want to thank everyone for all of their efforts on this. I know it was not easy. Uh, do you have any questions? Hearing none, motion? Motion, motion by Councilman Cochran. Second. Second. By Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Second. Opposed? It is approved. Item 46, the designation of Bassler Kaufman Development Company to develop Town of Isa owned property on Denver Avenue in Bayshore. Um, do we have any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran. I'll make that second. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Item 47, special events. Um, again, uh, just a bevy of wonderful things happening across our town. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion, motion by Councilman Mullen. Second. By Councilman o uh, Cochran, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed, approved. And the last item on the agenda, item 48, 
authorization with the supervisor to execute any and all documentation required permitting two town safety officers to become certified CPR AED instructors through the American Red Cross. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion, motion by Councilman Mullen, second. second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Before and we end, I, just, I think we need to go back to the uh, initial public hearing. Just reopen the public hearing. And th there, were, there were no speakers, but we, I think we should redo the vote. On the item? Uh, yeah, the community ambulance. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, a motion to reopen, reopen the hearing? I think a motion to reopen the public hearing. Uh, so we have a motion by Councilman uh, O'Connor, second by Councilman Mullen, to reopen that public hearing on community ambulance. and. Uh, is there any discussion, any questions? Make a motion that we close the public hearing. I offer the resolution for its adoption. We have a motion, do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye, recuse. We have three in favor, one recusal. The motion is adopted. Thank you, J.R. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, that uh, concludes the... Uh, we have a motion and a second to adjourn, and I will happily accept and pass that. All in favor? Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much.